This activity called Nate Lately, The Early Years, will help the children think about the long-term benefits of obedience. The children will listen and respond to a story. You're going to leave the activity something like this. Have you guys ever heard a story about a musician or a band and how they started out? Mm -hmm. Well, today I'm going to tell you guys a story similar to that. During the first story, I want you guys to listen for two things, okay? First, I want you to listen for every time Patrick has a choice to make. Second, you need to tell me how the story ends. Got it? All right. And uh, you can look at the pictures to follow along with the story. Patrick Partley and Nate Lately were best friends. They lived on the same street. They did everything together. They played soccer together. They pretended to be in a rock band together. They even had the same teacher, Miss Smith. When Miss Smith sent work home with them, they would do their homework together. First, they would go to Patrick's house because Patrick's mom made the best cookies. Then, they would go to Nate's house and do their homework because Patrick's little brother, Peter, uh, could not bother them at Nate's house. After their homework was done, sometimes they would go down to the park at the end of the street and play soccer. But sometimes, they would go into Nate's garage and just play around on their instruments. Nate and Patrick talked about being in a band together. Patrick was having a hard time choosing what instrument he wanted to play. Sometimes he wanted to play drums and keep the band together with unique and fun rhythms. But he also liked the idea of playing solos on a screaming electric guitar. Nate had a music coach teaching him to play guitar. And Patrick's parents had agreed for him to start lessons as soon as he could decide what he wanted to play. One day, they got, the, they got their they got their cookies just like usual and then went over to Nate's house to do their homework. They opened their books and spread out their homework. Patrick did two of his math problems and then turned to Nate. It's the last week of school. Why did Miss Smith give us homework? I just want to be outside. Nate looked up from his math problems. Patrick, she only gave us one page of math stuff. Besides, my dad told me that math is the foundation for music. He said that if I worked hard on my math, I'll be a better musician. Patrick looked down at his homework. What should Patrick do? Yeah, that's right. That summer, Nate worked very hard. He would get up as soon as Uncle Matt called him, which was very early, every morning, to help feed the horses. He met other kids from really different places, and best of all, Uncle Matt helped him learn to play guitar even better. Uncle Matt practiced with him every day, and Nate got hard calluses on his hands from playing guitar and working with the horses. He ended up asking his parents to let him stay for the whole summer since he was having such a great time. Who was Nate obeying? Um, John. Yeah? Uncle Matt. All three of them. Great. All right, moving on. By the end of the summer, Nate had grown an inch, gotten very strong from working so hard, and he knew a lot more chords and strumming patterns. Some of the kids he met had really sad stories, and Nate knew he wanted to help people like his Uncle Bat did. After the next school year, Nate started asking his parents to let him go to the ranch every summer. He got really serious about doing well at school, and he still practices guitar every day. Soon, he started playing in his own band, Cloud Nine. Nate never forgot how good it felt to be doing exactly what he knew God wanted him to do. Well, those two stories were pretty different, huh? And Patrick's story was pretty sad, right? Which, which one would you rather be, Patrick or Nate? Nate. Absolutely. Why would you rather be Nate? Yeah. He, he got to do some fun things, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's sad that Patrick wasn't able to do the things that Nate ended up doing. He probably could have if he had been obedient. Remember these stories and use them to remind you how important it is to obey.